Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a quick video on should you get more than one social media channels and if so, how many? Oftentimes when you're starting a brand, a business or a platform to be an influencer online, you often run into a question, well, should I grab Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, should I have platforms on all of these? or should I just stick to one and then there's all these new ones popping up which one should I adopt and you get all these questions because you don't want to miss out and you're hearing a bunch of stuff about how amazing it is and how you don't want to miss the boat while everyone else is jumping onto this but at the same time it just can be overwhelming so before I answer these questions go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like these short videos and leave it a like if you like these videos and you're a helpful person so here's my answer based off my research as a consumer with hundreds of channels I've subscribed to for many years and thousands of videos and hours spent on numerous platforms. It's usually a bad idea if you have a following on one platform to just stick to that one single platform. The reason being many fold. One, if you end up losing your channel or your platform somehow maybe you violated terms of service or it got shut down accidentally then there's no real way to communicate with the fans you lost I experienced that myself once when I had a huge following of millions on my WordPress blog and I lost that and the, my, my followers had no idea how to get in contact with me and they went to my competitor blogs another thing is that you don't want to go to the other extreme and just take every single social media platform usually if you have four or five that's overkill some people have six or seven and then there's new ones popping up and it's overkill and so the next thing is which new one should you adopt usually you don't want to go overboard currently everyone's hopping on the vine bandwagon because it's going exceptionally well and there's millions flooding to vine Usually, you don't want to really even think about it unless it's something that you really think has already become big. It has to have millions of users already. And in addition to that, you have to make sure that what you're doing on there suits your style. Each platform is suited for a specific type of person and a specific type of style. Not every platform is universal and works for anything that goes out there. Uh, Vine is very suited for six second videos. Instagram is really for photography. And although you can bend that to numerous different types of businesses, it doesn't work well for everything. And I've seen so many businesses that have see, wanted to get on a bandwagon and they spent like a year on there and they have millions of products that they've advertised their Instagram or their Vine on and they have like 100 followers on there and that's just sad uh, I don't want to call out names but Heinz is an example it's selling like millions of bottles of ketchup and for its big bottles which it sold millions it has its Vine it's advertising and it has like less than 10,000 followers on it and two videos that have six seconds and horrible and it's just very sad it's been advertising this for a year now so like if you're an artsy person you probably want to do Pinterest if you like fashion that's probably something you want to at least take a look at and Twitter is like a go-to for almost anything and YouTube's pretty universal for a lot of things but again you have to try it out and the reason why it's so important is because heck you can get like 100,000 subscribers on Facebook and none on YouTube. So that's it. Check out my videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys like this. And leave me in the comments if you have anything you want to say. See ya.